Hey folks, good morning everyone. Uh, it's 6 a.m. on a Saturday morning and uh, I'm waiting for my bus. Just today we're going for this very very nice trip to Chikbalapur. So Chikbalapur is 120 kilometers from uh, Bengaluru and we're going to visit this very important fort called uh, Gudibande Fort. This very nice movie called uh, Lion King last night and I slept very late. But uh, what the important part was, I was very excited for today's trip because uh, it's with my company folks. I'm not driving today, I'm not riding today, but uh, I'll just be traveling with them, enjoying the bus and trek along with them for this very, very nice trek. Started to fall, and where were you? How could I know you were falling to? Grabbing the wind, cutting my skin. But it's hard because I I'm falling Tell me why I'm falling Oh, life's calling But it's hard because I'm falling We stopped for a break and unexpectedly we've stopped at a very very beautiful location. So you see that uh, background, those hills out there, so that's Nandi Hill. That's like the most popular destination for tourists in Bangalore. Right now it's covered in clouds. Both uh, Nandi Hills and uh, pretty far away we have Skandagiri Hills. It does look beautiful from here as well. We are covered in clouds, amazing view of this place. So let's continue our trek to Budibandi and hopefully we'll get to see some of the there as well. So right now we are at the base of Kudibande Fort. It wasn't very difficult to get here actually. So there was the highway through Hyderabad from Bengaluru and then uh, take left. So don't really think about how the roads are because it's awesome. Just put it on Google Maps and you'll find it. You know, it's that easy. The weather is awesome right now and that makes the view of Fort more appealing, more awesome, great. <laughs> okay, so guys, we are in right now. We're heading up to Gudibandi Fort, and uh, I have Vikram with me. Hi. So the thing is, uh, whenever I go to any place, I do a lot of research, a lot of research about what that place is. But when Vikram is around, I don't really do it. Oh. Because he's kind of an encyclopedia about all things that we travel for. So he is going to tell us about Gudibandi Fort. Vikram. Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, so even I think I really haven't done too much of research, but some interesting facts that I know about Gudi Bande, I think I can share. Uh, one is this was uh, actually not managed by any empire, but it was a local uh, chief here in this locality mm. who was taking care of this town here. So okay. uh, his name was uh, Bairagoda. Mm. 
and uh, Bairagoda apparently built this entire uh, Gudibande fort and uh, the famous uh, information that we have on the net or the belief here is that uh, he was a kind of a Robin Hood kind of a person okay. who used to always rob from the riches and then give it out to the people here. Okay. <laughs> I've already started planting. Yeah. <laughs> so how, uh, yeah. any idea about how far we need to climb? So it's going to be an easy to moderate uh, trek here. Okay. It's not really So tough. easy for families and kids? Yes, yes absolutely because you have uh, steps all the way. Okay. And few places it gets a little rough, but okay. easily do over. So I'll let Vikram go now. We'll catch yeah. him up to catch up with him later. Yes, do the assembly for all of us. Okay. So yeah, and, uh, she's coming on a trek for the first. Okay, now very important question. Everybody wants to ask you this. Where are you going to swipe the ID card? Here? <laughs> they asked me to wear it. <laughs> but you want to swipe it somewhere, right? I mean, the caves or something. Huh? Maybe somewhere. <laughs> So Kushang, what does travelling mean to you? Travelling is life. Uh, travelling means exploring as much as I can. Creating the memory. It means a lot. Like uh, if I do not have anything planned for the next coming month, then I feel irritated. Like I have to go somewhere. Okay. <laughs> Every place is unique. Every place has its own challenge. And it has its own beauty. Okay. So there's no point in sticking to one place. You need to travel. You need to enjoy. was not a very loved person but the rich and the landlords of these places so there was always an attempt on his life most people wanted to kill him because he used to rob from them and give it to the poor so while building this fort he did something batsman like batman like sorry so he built lots of escape pods and tunnels which would make it easier for his soldiers or for himself to escape in case they, he, they sense trouble and uh, you see this? This is one escape pod there, one tunnel which goes to the other end of an exit. So there are lots of these tunnels in the entire fort. So it's pretty safe to go down there and explore this. Some people have already been there right now. So next time you come here, don't miss or don't forget to get and explore one of these escape pods and tunnels. You'll love it. Nandish is a local here. Nandish, which class? Seventh. Seventh. So he told us a very interesting story about this place. So once we're getting up, he showed us this big piece of rock you see behind me. So we were wondering what this was and he told us, I don't know if it was real or not, but whatever he says does make sense. So this big rock behind us. So this used to be a rock which, used, uh, which was used as a blockade. So as I told you, Bairigoro was not a very loved person by the ditch. So whenever he used to sense danger and some people coming up in order to attack him or harm him or anything, they used to drop this entire rock down and it used to block this narrow path, you see, behind me. So once you do that, obviously, 
one area is blocked you can't enter and you have enough time for escape There's one more interesting story that you haven't. So Bairagora, who was the chieftain of this place, he was called a visionary. Visionary why? Because he learnt about water shortages when nobody had thought about it. Built a series of reservoirs, water tanks, reservoirs, all around this fort. Yeah. Entire Budibande Lake, there are lakes beyond these hills, which were specifically designed to function, pump out water for the residents here for his fort as well as the people who were there town. It was unfortunate that he ruled only for three years. Just imagine, had he ruled for more, some more years, what wonders he could have created. So I'm heading to one of these uh, small escape routes, come tunnels, which will lead to another portion, another section of uh, the fort. It's very tiny, it's very hard to get down, but uh, I'll try anyways and see how it goes. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. It's very tough, yeah, seriously. I do yoga once a week, but I think that doesn't help because it's very tiny and I'm just imagining now that the people who are who used to use it, how are they going to use it? Imagine. So right now we're done about done with our Gudibandi Fort uh, hike and trek. Right now we're going to Gudibandi Lake where we'll have a lunch and then head back home. Hopefully we'll get some nice shots from there as well. So stay tuned. We'll head to Gudibandi Lake now.
was really awesome and superb. I was thinking I am climbing Everest. Oh. <laughs> yeah, <it was laughs> the trek here at Guribandi Lake, amazing view of the lake, amazing. The whole day has been awesome because just didn't go ahead and do a trek. Got a lot of history lessons, a lot of hidden secrets that would be found, a lot of travel stories from fellow mates, and also more importantly, connecting with people, connecting with a lot of people and having fun. And you know what? If you haven't subscribed to the channel, you know what to do. You like, share and subscribe. Tell your friends about it because it's your love, motivation and support that keeps people like us going. See you. Take care. Bye.